Back in 1903, high-tech aerial photography required the use of pigeons. Fast forward more than 100 years and our technology and what we can do with it has come a long way. Today's unmanned aerial vehicles, also known as UAVs or drones, come in all different shapes and sizes. When equipped with cameras and other sensing capabilities, UAVs become powerful tools, helping MDOT collect essential data and improve transportation operations across the state. The safety advantages immediately um, was probably the first uh, obvious uh, benefit or value add to using them in your aerial systems. Uh, the second was mobility. Uh, when you look at mobility, if we could have the potential of eliminating work zones, uh, getting folks out of harm's way of traffic, uh, reducing user delay costs like we would have on a bridge closure. We have a lane shut down for inspecting bridges. And I would say the third is just the um, efficiency and effectiveness of collecting data. Um, you can go out and with, within a few hours or one day collect uh, terabytes of data. With so much opportunity available, MDOT's research into UAV technology and its capability has spanned years and consisted of multiple stages. The first phase was looking at the viability and the potential for using unmanual systems in transportation. In phase one, researchers tested an array of UAV models, possible attachments, such as LiDAR or heat sensing cameras, and a variety of real world applications, like a blimp for monitoring traffic, a hexacopter for evaluating bridges and highways, or even a tiny model for inspecting tight indoor spaces. Phase two was looking at the data. We were getting more drilled into what data can we collect, how can we store it, and what's the potential for using it in programs that benefit our current systems at MDOT. Once we got to phase through three, we understood the platforms, we understood, understood the, tech, the sensing technology, we understood the, the, the potential for collecting data, and then what we did is we aligned those two phases in phase three with four use cases. Bringing together the knowledge from phases one and two, MDOT explored what UAVs could do in four everyday situations, analyzing traffic, conducting bridge assessments, inspecting construction sites, and design surveys. Since each UAV model can cost thousands of dollars, operating one requires extensive training and even federal licensure. The kind of certification and training you need to be a pilot to fly these uh, is governed by the uh, by FAA, the Federal uh, Aviation Administration. Um, you have to take an exam in order to be able to fly them. That being said, uh, just because you can pass that exam and do all this in paper doesn't mean that you know how to fly a manual vehicle because FAA does not require through that training to do a practical exam of actually flying the vehicle. MDOT's Office of Aeronautics provides the practical training that operators need for flying UAVs in the field. In terms of being able to, um, you know, take off, move these things in every direction, knowing the elevation requirements that you are restricted to, knowing the line of sight you're restricted to, staying away from airports, five miles from airports. So there's all these exceptions that you have to know through the rules and regulations of FAA. And they will train an individual to go out and fly one of these. Though the research on UAVs is ongoing, MDOT anticipates this work will pay dividends in the long run and lead to discoveries and applications that haven't been imagined yet. If you're going to ask me what a return on investment is, I would say it's eventually be off the charts. We've just touched the tip of the iceberg and we don't know what we don't know yet. For more information, please visit Michigan DOT's website.